And my last question, if you can take a time machine and meet your third year old you, and what advice would you give to yourself? Don't afraid being actor. <laughs> uh, I think for the longest time, and even until I was 30, I've always felt that I had no real direction. By this, I mean like some people by the age of 15 or whatever, they know, okay, I want to be a doctor or I want to be a lawyer. I want to be something. I know exactly what I want to do. Or even I want to make a lot of money and be a multi-millionaire. But I never had that. And it always concerned me that, and it caused me to feel at least as if I was slightly lost, just, just going along, just going along and not having any aim. So what I would tell, and that was me even at the age of 30, I would tell myself is this, don't worry, it will all work out. Mm, I see, I see. Don't worry. It's, it's not something, yeah, don't worry, it will all work out. Mm. So what would you do if you listen to that <laughs> advice from yourself and go back to 30? Uh, would so that I would change anything? I wouldn't angst and worry about it, about it, and I'll just take life as it comes along. I mean, at the end of the day, we all come on earth and we leave the same, exactly the same as when we started. Mm. So, in the big, big scheme of things, all the ambition and all the dreams, aspirations and everything else, I'm not sure it really, really matters. I don't know when I'm on my deathbed, if you ask me what was the most important thing, I don't know what my answer is going to be. I think that's very honest answer. Oh, well. Thank you so much this long time. Any last word to anyone? You know, talking about spirituality and all these kinds of things. and <laughs> Maybe it was written in the stars, you know, when, you, when I think about it. I don't know whether I mentioned it, but my name, Lung Seng On, Lung Cheng An. Lung is my surname, which is Dragon. Cheng can mean bear, and An is peace. To bear peace, to have the responsibility for peace. So maybe there is such a thing, and it was already preordained, it was already in the stars, that I would be a person who would spend a lot of my life involved in bearing peace. Wow. And that's why I'm a mediator. Wow, your parents made that name. Thank you so much for this long time. And it's quite a pleasure and quite happy to listen to your experience and your story. And it's quite awesome. Thank you. You're very, very kind and it has been a good pleasure talking to you, DK. Uh, you're obviously a very skilled uh, facilitator and good at making me comfortable enough to say a lot of things and maybe I'll regret saying it later on. But for now, I've been very, very happy. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I will add it well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take care. Have a good New Year's holiday. Retirement? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I should wish you that as well. Happy New Year. And I hope that 2023 will bring you good health, happiness, lots of happiness and lots of laughter as well. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm thrilled to have my guest today. His name is Jeremy Lack. Carl Jung studied analytic psychology in Switzerland. Jeremy Lack started to use neuropsychology in alternative dispute resolution in Switzerland. Is it a coincidence? For ordinary people like me, he is a great magician in the world of alternative dispute resolution. Bonjour, Jeremy. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Bonjour, very pleased to meet you and thank you for that very kind introduction. I, I hadn't heard any of that comparison or thinking before, but it's uh, um, it, interesting to hear and, and, and we'll, we'll, I'll disabuse you of everything. No similarities and, uh, and, and nothing, nothing, no threads to be connected there, but I'm very happy to talk about all of that. <laughs> 